Hey everybody, so you want to learn how to loop. Let's say you're new at looping. That's what this video is geared toward. So why do you want to loop? Well, the, ba the basic reason would be uh, practicing. is really great for practicing with. Um, also for performing, it can be very handy as well. So let's just start off with how this pedal works. Um, basically, when you push it once, it's recording. So whatever you're playing is going to be recorded, recorded. And then you press it again. And now it is playing back and recording at the same time. So it's playing back what you just recorded and it's recording at the same time. So you can start to play as if you were a doppelganger and there's two of you suddenly. You can start playing uh, an, another a part on top of what you already did. And then you push it once more and then it's just playing. So maybe you um, want to stop it. You have to press twice. Or you can buy the little extra pedal that will plug in here and you can turn it on and off. And to erase what you've recorded, you have to press and hold. And then nothing is there. It shows you the loop. So the nice thing about this is that when you're recording, it's pretty clear you're recording. And when you're overdubbing, it's pretty clear you're overdubbing. And uh, when it's just playing, it's pretty obvious. You can see where the loop is at what point it is. So let's actually t try it out. Basically, you have to yeah. count out where you're playing. So let's say if you're playing a G. One, two, three, four, one. So what you're going to do is on one, you're going to push warm this. Up. Good idea to warm up before you record, so you're you're uh, consistent. One, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, one. So now it's still recording. I'm going to just stop it. Um, have it just play. So let's say you want to practice on soloing. And so I'm going to play C and F. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One. There. And one thing that's cool is when you play the one, strum along. It, I find it helps. Like don't just stop playing and then push on the one, but strum along. Okay, so you've got a loop. Let's play it and hear it. And there's your level knob, because sometimes you don't want it as loud as what you're playing. You need to turn it down a bit. Now I'm going to do a little soloing. Now, if you're a singer-songwriter, so you can solo along and sing. You can start singing now. Oh yeah, I'm singing a song. Lord. Yeah, I'm singing a song. Here's something that a lot of singer-songwriters do. They they do a track of kind of uh, tapping and bumping their guitar, making a little bit of percussion sound. Two, three, four, one. There, I just tapped it, and I'm going to add a little more stuff. So I've got that. It sounds kind of Latin-y, you know. Okay, now I've stopped the recording and now I've got that basic track. Let's say I want to do a chord over that, so I'm going to add a chord. There's our chord. Stop recording. You can do whatever you want, solo or sing, blah, 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 blah baby, blah, blah. And then say you want to undo that. So I'm going to push and hold. I'm going to record the new chord. Okay, stop recording. So there you go. Now I've got a new chord and I can do some more singing or soloing. And then I can just push and hold. And there it is. And now you're back to your basic track. And you can keep doing that all day long if you want. 
Well, let's erase that and say goodbye. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if this is helpful, and um, do subscribe. Hit that little bell so you know right away whenever I put new videos out. I do lots of videos um, teaching guitar lessons and uh, talking about equipment, interviewing guitarists, and uh, which I'm going to do more of. So a lot of stuff, all guitar-centered in this channel. Thanks for watching so much, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye now.